my name is Nathan Taylor, otherwise known as Sockmetician, and this is a tutorial for working neater lines of SSKs. SSK, of course, is the slip slip knit, which is a left leaning single decrease, and uh, very often people get upset because their lines of SSKs traveling over to the uh, the left have a bit of a wiggle, a flabby wiggle like that, whereas the lines of knit two togethers, which go in the opposite direction, always lie perfectly straight and beautiful. And there are all sorts of methods that people have uh, put forward for combating that. And I think the most famous is Elizabeth Zimmerman's slip the first stitch knitwise, but slip the second stitch purlwise, meaning that the second stitch lies twisted in the work. I think that's fixing or trying to fix the problem at the wrong point, and I don't think it does a particularly good job. Here's how you can do it, and it's absolutely foolproof. It relies on the fact that every stitch is connected to the stitch that sits next to it, and that every time you put your needle into a stitch to work it, what you're actually doing is you're robbing a little bit. You see how that stitch is big and flabby? You're gonna, I'm gonna rob a little bit of uh, yarn from that stitch as I put my needle into that stitch. So there's the width and the circumference of two needles going into that stitch. And because I'm pushing on that side of the stitch there, it pulls the yarn and it's connected to that stitch there. So every time I knit a stitch, it tightens up the one below the one on the needle and the one that sits to the right of the one that you've just worked into. So working into that stitch tightens up that stitch, the parent of the one that's on the needle. So with that in mind, why are knit two togethers nice and tight, whereas uh, SSKs end up all flabby? Well, the reason for that is all to do with which stitch of the pair sits on top of the finished decrease when you're done. In a knit two together, it's this stitch that sits on top. If I knit those two stitches together like that, then the one that sits on top is the leftmost one. That bottom one, big and flabby, doesn't matter because when I work into this stitch, it's gonna tighten up the top stitch of the two and it's the top stitch that you see. So we want to tighten up the top stitch if I work an SSK, on the other hand, slip one knitwise, slip one knitwise, and then insert the tip of the left needle towards me and knit through the back legs like that, it's this stitch, the rightmost stitch, that sits on top. But no matter what I do to this stitch, I can pull on that one as much as I can. That's only ever going to tighten up the bottom stitch, which is the one that's not seen. And I can pull on that one as much as I like, it's not going to tighten up that stitch. So we need to tighten up the top stitch by tightening up the bottom stitch first. If that makes no sense at all, let me show you what that looks like in practice. So as always, I'm gonna slip one knitwise, and then I'm gonna slip one knitwise. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull on that one a little bit to take out any slack that's there. Then as I put my needle back in here and wrap the yarns, when I slip the old stitches off, instead of slipping them both off at once, I'm just gonna slip off the first one. And then with my needle still in that bottom stitch, I'm gonna give that a bit of a pull. And can you see how that's tightened that stitch up immeasurably? And then I can slip it off. And then this stitch, gets tightened up by putting my needle into the next stitch and just pulling the needles away from each other a little bit before I wrap the stitch. And then I can even up that one. Whoops, that one needs remounting. And then I'm back to normal knitting tension. And if you have a look at that SSK there, that top stitch is now just as neat and tidy as, there it is, really, really neat and tidy. Let me show you that one more time. So I'm going to slip one stitch knitwise, slip the second stitch knitwise, insert the tip of the left needle in coming in from back to front, wrap the yarn, and as I pull the, the new loop through, I slip the, the top stitch only off, and then pulling with that needle, you see how that tightens up that top stitch there, which is the visible one. Slide that one off, then tighten up the bottom stitch by opening out the, the following stitch, working into it, 
and then open up that one a little bit, you're just sort of easing the tension back to normal knitting tension in the following couple of stitches. And again, that gives you a very, very neat and tidy SSK. I'm going to knit a few more rows on this so that you can see what a whole line of SSKs looks like. And I'll join you when that's done. Here I am a little bit further on with my swatch and you can see I've got a line of right leaning knit you together decreases here and here is my right line of left leaning SSKs and as you can see they're both as tidy as each other no more wobble 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 no more flabby top stitches and all of that is achieved by uh, just that little easing methodology that I showed earlier on it is a simple case of making sure you tighten up the top stitch as you slip the two stitches off the left needle. And that's how you work the easing method of the SSK.